Hi, this is Al Williams of Sunset Hill Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you how, using web intelligence, you can create reports that have interactive charts. Now, if any of you are familiar with Excelsius or I think in Business Objects 4, it's just called Dashboards. Um, it used to be you could only have this type of functionality using that product, but with web intelligence, you also can have interactive charts. So before I show you how to do this, I'm going to actually show you the finished product first and then we'll work through building it. So in this report we have some data, we have a pie chart, and we have a, a line chart here. If I click on one of the years in the pie chart, notice what it does. It's changed the results to 2006 and we see it, the title of the chart says product line sales for 2006 for all states. Now if I click one of the states in this area, the results have changed in this chart. Product line sales for 2006 for New York. So as you can see, this is now an interactive report that has functionality that you used to only be able to have in, in Excelsius. So we're going to walk through the steps of creating this and we'll be using a good old eFashion universe that comes with business objects. Um, so we'll get started right away. In this video, I'm just using the Web Intelligence Rich Client um, instead of the web-based version. So we're going to go ahead and create a new report based on the eFashion universe. And for the objects that we want to have here, so I'm bringing in the state, the year, sales revenue, the month, quantity sold, category, and the product line. I also want to add a filter to this report. I want the state to be values from a list. I want California, Florida, New York, and Texas for this example. So I'll click OK and run the query. Okay, so we have our results back now. Now the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this table. Now we'll just change the report title to document name. And we're going to save this report before we do anything else. We'll just call it Dynamic Chart Example. Okay. So now we want to insert a vertical table to hold the state and the revenue. Okay. And we will pick for the horizontal axis state and sales revenue. Okay, now we have our little table. We'll just make sure it fits here. And we'll add a total. Click on the sum button here. And I'll just change this to total. Total sales. Okay. So I'm just going to format the header cells of this table by clicking them and right clicking on the mouse and going into format cell. And change the font color to be dark blue. And change the appearance to have no color and no pattern. And I'll change the border. I have no border and we'll click apply and OK. All right, so it's state and sales revenue. I'm just going to change this to revenue. OK, and I'm just going to center these. Click on the format tab and center. Okay, so I got this table basically formatted the way I want it, and I can go ahead and add my pie chart next. It's going to move the report title over a bit and move this table up and to the left a little bit. Now I'm going to go and add a pie chart. And there we go, pie. Click here. Drop data objects. I'm just going to go ahead and right click and assign data. So for the 
first item, I'm going to pick sales revenue. And for the second, I'm going to pick year. Click apply and OK. All right, so now we have sales by year, but we're not showing any labels in here. So we want to change the formatting of this pie chart a little bit to make it a bit more intuitive. So let's add a little bit of formatting to this chart. I'm just going to right click on the chart and you can't see it here, but I'm going to scroll down and select format chart. First thing I'll do is click on the title here and say visible and we'll say sales by year. Okay, apply. So now we have a title, but we want this to be centered. So let's right click on that and format chart again. And we want this to be centered. Apply. Okay. Let's go ahead and do some more formatting here. We'll just right click and I'm clicking on format chart. This time I'm going to go to global and data values and I'm going to check this data label displaying mode and I'm going to pick label and value to show and let's just see what this looks like apply okay well I'm not seeing it so I didn't quite do everything I needed to do let's go back into format chart again go to global data values and we'll select the inside and we'll select the color as being black and apply okay so now we're seeing we're seeing some labels inside the the um, areas of the pie chart so this isn't perfect because it's not looking 100 percent right because we're seeing some overlap but for, for the purposes of demo we'll just leave this chart as is for now so now we've got our pie chart we have our data showing up here now i want to add a line chart to this report. Make this a little bit bigger so it comes down to the same area as the pie chart. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now it's time to assign the data. So I'm right clicking and selecting assign data. So for the category axis, I want to have the month. For the value axis 1, I want quantity sold. And for the region color, I want lines. Click Apply. And OK. So now we have a line chart showing all the product lines and the sales for the elements we picked for this report. I just want to make this line chart a little bit wider so it looks better. Okay, so there's a bit more room to show the lines because we are showing the sales for every month. Um, so now we have a report that has some data, has a pie chart and a line chart, but this is not a dynamic report at this point. It's very static. We can't, nothing happens if we click on different areas of the the table here, and nothing happens if we click on different areas of the pie chart. So we have to add the functionality to make this now an interactive report. The next step is to select our table that has the data and we go into linking and we want to click on element and add element link. So once we get to this stage we'll just leave this first tab as is. We'll click on next and we'll click on next again. And now we select the line chart in block 3 and finish. So now if I click on one of the states here, see the chart dynamically changes. But we don't see the title of the chart here because we haven't added the title. So let's go ahead and add a title to this chart. So if we right click on the chart and I'm going to down here and select format chart. And we go to the title. I'm going to change the title. Actually, I'll click on the formula editor here and I'm going to make a change. So I've changed the title of the chart to annual product line sales for and then state. Click on validate. If the formula is correct, I click OK and apply. 
and of course we're not seeing the title because I haven't made it visible. So I'm going to go ahead and format chart again, title, make it visible, apply, OK. Annual product line sales for California. Now what happens if I clear the filter here? I'm getting a multi-value. So we have to make this formula a little bit more complex so it works under all the different scenarios that we're going to have. One thing I failed to point out earlier is after we add the element link, now we see that we have some input controls in this report. If I click on a state, it shows the state that's been selected. If I click on clear filters, now no states are selected and automatically changes the, the uh, line chart on the, on the right hand side. So the next thing we have to do is link our pie chart to the line chart to show the sales by year. So to do that, I'm going to click on the pie chart and I'm going to go to this linking tab here and add an element link. I'm going to click on next and next. And I'm going to select the line chart again and finish. So now if I click on different years in the chart, pie chart, we are seeing the line chart dynamically changed by adding that input control. And you can see as we're clicking on these cells in the pie chart, the input controls are, sh are showing what's been selected. So the year is 2006, there's no state. If I select the state, it's Florida, and it's changed the, the line chart. If I clear the filters, we're still getting this multi-value error. So we have to change our formula for this line chart. Now let's go ahead and change the formula for the title. I'm going to go ahead and right click on the title and select Format Chart. And then open the Formula Editor. I'm going to paste in the formula and then explain what it's doing. So I have a number of conditional statements in here. Um, basically what it's, what it's doing is it's making sure that if a year or a state isn't selected that we're not going to get the multi-value error. And I'm not going to go through every line of this formula, but I will post it online um, with this video so you can see what it looks like. Let's just make sure it's OK, it is correct, and I click OK and apply. So now we're saying the title of this line chart, product line sales for all products for all years. Now if I select 2006, the title is product line sales for 2006 for all states. Now if I select state, product line sales for 2006 for New York. So we've got rid of that multi-value error and we now have a truly interactive report uh, with two charts on it. So again, this is something that we always used to have to use um, Excelsius or dashboards for. And now directly within Web Intelligence, you can have that same functionality. So this is Al Williams of Sunset Hill Solutions. I hope that you found this video helpful. Thank you.